For daily hacks of the human body, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then tap the bell icon to be notified on our newest videos. Why are scars permanent compared to normal cuts? Ever given thought to how the largest organ of the body works? Yes, we're talking about the one you wear on the outside, the skin. For starters, the cells in the upper layers of the skin are always renewing themselves, and the process is known as exfoliation or shedding of the epidermis. It's however important to know that the dermis, deeper levels of the skin, don't go through this renewal process, and this is precisely why foreign bodies like tattoo dyes remain in the dermis. Tattoos remain in the skin because the ink particles that produce the coloration are way too large to be ingested by the white blood cells that go through the body and expel foreign bodies from the skin. As for the issue of scars, the very first thing you should know is that our skin is made up of collagen. That's the most abundant protein in the body, which is produced by cells known as fibroblasts. So what happens when the skin is wounded? Well, at such times, the wound healing process initiates the creation of new fibroblasts with the aim of producing scar collagen. Note, you should be aware that scar collagen is different from the normal collagen in the body. It's also important to note that individual cells within the skin periodically die and also go through a renewal process, but the scar collagen remains as it is. Now you should be aware that wounds do heal without producing scars, but this only happens during the fetal stage of life. In essence, fetal collagen is entirely different from adult collagen. That said, the only way to deal with the scars is when we figure out how to turn on the production of fetal collagen after birth. If you like the video, give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel.